Paper by 53 Tips and Tricks video. Now the difference between my video and others is I'm not going to run you through um, 10 minutes of telling you how to use the pens, pens and pencils and paintbrushes that are available. No, I'm sure you can work out how to do that on your own. So I'm going to show you a couple of things which I found are not uh, spoken about in other tutorials that I've watched. For instance, where is it? Here, this one. Okay, so this picture here I have um, mainly in the background a solid, solid colors, dark, dark blue and such, which I had to paint by hand. Um, it took quite a while and didn't give me a very... <clears throat> because uh, the inbuilt tutorial in Paper 53 and all the tutorials I've seen on YouTube have not shown me how to do it any better. So, what can I tell you that might help? All right, so how do you fill in the background? <clears throat> if you want to fill in the page with a color, you can do so quite easily. Hold your finger on the color you want to make it until you lift it out of the tray and drop it on the page. It's that easy. Now, this is a uh, not like other drawing apps where if you seal a uh, seal a circle and drop a color onto it, um, you can fill it. No, Paper by 53 doesn't give you any of those little cheap shortcuts that other drawing apps do. You have to actually uh, at least get the whole page start off with the color you want. So that is one little tip I thought would have been handy to know before I started drawing pictures, paintings, artwork. Okay. What's something else that you might find uh, useful? Let's see. Um, if you want to organize pictures in a book, something uh, might take a bit of effort to, to work out is how to organize the pages the way you want them. <coughs> and what you have to do is hold your finger on the page and you actually lift it out of the book. Now with your other hand, so I'm holding this floating page with my right index finger. With my left hand, I'm going to pinch this book closed. Now I can use my left finger to cycle to the book that I want to put this page in. Okay, so let's drop it in this book. Uh, first, I'm going to open the book up by pinching open with my left hand. And now I can turn these pages with my left hand. So if I turn and hold this over to the right and drop it, there we go, I've put it in there, I've taken it out of that other book and put it into this book. So that's a handy little tip, I thought, how to organize your books. And uh, if you want to as well, say I wanted to start drawing on top of this picture. So I wanted to start adding to this picture, but I also want to um, keep this background for further artwork options. I don't want to destroy it, um, so blah, blah, blah. I draw on this for a few hours, then then I close it and I come back to the app later on and I can no longer rewind, which I can right now because I haven't gone out of the app. But if I did go out of the app and come back to it later and say, oh no, my picture's destroyed, I wish I hadn't done that. A good idea is to duplicate that page before you start. So hold your finger on the plus and you get the duplicate option. So let's press that and we can duplicate the page as many times as we want. So that's quite a handy little tip to know how to do as well. If you want to organize a book into all your favorite artwork and print it, you can do that as well. Uh, if I can remember how, it's, that's how to customize the book. Uh, uh, press the, there you go, that's it, easy. You can send the whole book and its contents in an email, or you can press print a book and you'll go to the website where you can upload that book and order it for forty dollars so that's a nice uh, little option for this this app you can do as well that's uh that's about it i'm sure you can work everything else out yourself uh, how to paint and create wonderful works of art uh we'll leave that up to your creative imaginations thanks for watching i hope this helped in some small way